Watch your crunch army, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Welcome back to part two of every pro player's greatest play. Okay, so if you haven't checked out part one, make sure you guys do that as soon as you can. But for this video, we picked 10 Fortnite pros, mostly old faces, and we looked through the web to search for a moment we call their greatest. Some of these were, you know, they were pretty tough to decide, but after seeing it, you know, I think this is one of the most exciting lists that we've probably ever made. So don't forget to like the video and sub. And if you're looking for a quick, convenient way to improve at Fortnite, check out our coaching and VOD review services in the description below. But other than that, bunch of crunch army, it's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. It's that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. Okay, guys, heading into the final match of the Secret Skirmish, Saf and his teammate held a cool, comfortable position in third place. But look at that. There's T4 and Bizzle. So everybody in their neighbor's dog was expecting one of them to win. That was until we witnessed Saf's greatest play ever. Saf is trying to push out of the storm. Say just barely ahead of it. Every step of the way matters huge. It takes a little bit of fall damage. Is this structure, the branch he was on gets knocked out as, the, as his opponent is actually getting pinched from the back. Ghoul gets knocked down. The thirst there, Saf picking up just enough HP, 50 there to stay alive in the storm, but it's no ticking builds. away. He's got no builds. 10 HP per tick, Jack. He's got to push in and stay ahead of this thing if he wants to stay on his game. And this is key here. The next player who dies falls just on the outside of the skirt. There you go. Base soldier gets knocked and eliminated. You see six teams remaining. Whoever winds up getting dropped next, there's a placement point, another one! Oh my, Saf now with five limbs, and he's earned his team another point as well for placement. Saf continues to do it. He's dropping him down, Saf with another. Oh my God, oh my God! Saf with the most ridiculous end game moments brings his team from one a limb to eight, and the victory royale. They might've just won. On that game they alone, the just last 30 won seconds. the duo competition. Of course, we can mention Sav without also bringing up Zayt. Zayt had his moments as well, being the North American golden all. But the play that holds the torch has to be when he used a rift to go to prevent a heal off at ESL. Easily a contender for one of the most 200 IQ plays ever. More exciting clips are coming up, guys, but you gotta take a look at this. It's a two on two on one. Alpha towards the low ground. Item and Tomo have yet again stuck their way through. They're going to be closed in oh. on this one. They jump down to try to go for the 2v1. They will be successful, but now it's a two on two, and they have to fight from low. And I don't believe we've seen such a 2v2 here with the zone going back and forth. So many buildings going on, and the circle is just getting smaller and smaller. Rift to go being used so they can try to maintain this. Oh. Catch on to pretty much everyone here. South going to be on the low ground, though, by himself. Zayt immediately dives through. The campfire, I believe, was used. You can see Zayt trying to heal up as long as possible. Tomo has fallen. Matt Tomo is, is not going to be able to survive. 8 plus 5 is what? That's 13 eliminations and a victory royale here. I'm sure we all wish Cloaksy didn't quit, cause man, let me tell you this, he was a master of incredible moments. His overall best has to be during week nine of the old Friday Fortnite kill races. He and Tifu were down by two kills and with only four enemies left, Cloaksy needed to eliminate everybody to stay in the tournament. The casters were left speechless after this one, guys. You guys gotta check this out. Got one. Got two. Got them all. Next to me, next to me. Got them all. Let's go. Let's go. You got it, bro. Do we win? Do we win? Bro, there's no way you just clutched that. Let's go. Did we win, bro? Yeah, we did. No. Yeah, we bro, 20. There's no way, We're dude. now 15. So, if there's one thing former 100 Thieves player Kazooie is known for, it's his aim. Especially when he's got a sniper in his hands. But his most significant moment has to be during the solo secret skirmish. This was his first LAN event, so the pressure was really high, but he didn't choke. Instead, let me tell you what he did, man. He landed one of the sickest flicks in Fortnite history, which was enough to nearly double the money he earned that day. 
Oh, this is intense, Ball. I, I'm loving this because you start to see the scramble, and this is where players have to be smart about where they place their resources, where they place their builds, so they can oh, push it. Oh, my word, Kazooie. That was absurd. Eight players remaining in the game. Vivid's going to be alive. I asked him, when are you going to get that dub? He says, I'm going to go it for you, Golden Boy. And this looks like it could be it for him. Kazooie, he's no more drop builds. Down. He yeah. did get Tifu. No more builds for him. He's going to try to come underneath and grab more, but he's <gasps> getting targeted. No, what? what? He gets the elimination on J Truth and gives him the hands. With such a long career, we have ample time to witness Nate Hill's greatest, the summer skirmish TwitchCon, but you know, we think his best play was more recent. During the Ninja Battles tourney, with no health or mats, Nate pulls off an astonishing grapple play, which ultimately secures his team the high ground, the dub, and a $10,000 bag. Wow. Nate Hill goes up and hits Edgy with a huge grappler and catches the knock. Oh my gosh, he doesn't have any builds at all here, Bala. He's gonna go back up. He needs the yep, siphon. There's another player. He's still in it. My gosh. He gets the siphon, but no materials. He still has the grappler. Who's above him? I believe possibly teammate. Yes, it's Bully. He gets up there. Possibly going to split now. Zone two. I think this might be a second win for Nate Hill and crew right now as they're raining down terror. And there's nobody even in zone right now. Last player, it's the roller in the zone. There's an AR firing down on him. He only has four Ooh. floppers actually he's gonna be able to take height and they're down stuck in the water do they have any mats yes a little bit it's a roller one versus two he can actually make this happen but the spray coming in yes knocked down and nate hill to close things out the clean pump shot and a second victory royale And when it comes to meaningful plays from the past you can't forget boyer's insane winter royal pop off I mean, yo, calling this a jaw dropper would be an understatement. For context, the new E11 pickup was getting kill after kill, just rolling over everybody. But when he ran out of mats, his run seemed to be over. At least that's what we thought. And now high ground is his. He is the highest player, but he also has no material. Now the real game begins. Can he snag some of this material here before it's too late? Instead of going for materials, he's going for Elims. Missed the shot, up? lands the next one. Five Elin, seven players left. He is doing good here. Here's him behind the grappler, goes overhead, trying to catch him from behind. There are players all around him right he here. He tops off. He's still doing okay. He tops off, he is popping off. He's got the grapple shot. He's just going for the greed here. He's got to farm, get that farm on. That's one one. He can do it, he can get a big bonus. He's so close. Absolutely, he can. Oh, that's another Elin for him. Putting him at max shield now. He needs those materials. Barely any. That's another that turns the corner here. That's a big bonus. Big bonus. The points are his. He's going to grapple in. It's a 1v1. No the shot. He got every single player. Incredible. Next up is actually a double best play from World Cup winners Aqua and Nyrox. Halfway through the games, all right, they struggled to stay in the top 20. Still, they didn't panic or anything like that. Instead, they went in with the plan and executed it to perfection. And although it wasn't the most, you know, mind-boggling play, it's what gave Aqua and Nyrox confidence to win the next match and ultimately the entire event. Quite literally, a million dollar play. Sky has been around the competitive scene for a long time and for good reason right there. Nyrox now owning from the high ground, putting that pressure down. A shockwave was initiated right there, but it's not going to be enough. This is their map to control right here in the final moments. They're the only duo standing, Golden Boy. This is their game to win. The cooler duo, is this going to happen? As they're putting the pressure on these players down low, they're synergized, they're communicating, and they're ready to pick up this victory royale in game four. He only has 10 builds, though. This is very intense. Both scary. of them don't have much here. He's going to put all the splashes down. Is that the decision right there to commit? Looks like the shockwave is going to cause an eruption in the high ground. And now they're in the zone here. What's going to happen here? We this got is so close. Five players remaining. Few left as the shockwave is going to send him all the way up. Nyrox takes out Falconer down low, and he's wrestling with everyone. But Nyrox is out. Oh no! He does manage to get the elimination, and in the storm, he gets the victory royale. Seven eliminations for the duo. A big, big win for Nyrox and Aqua.
Even though he's always trolling, 72 Hours has had a bunch of extraordinary moments, but I think his greatest has gotta be his miraculous shockwave grenade during Trio's FNCS. It wasn't the most impactful, but still, it's one of those, you know, once in a lifetime situations, and I know we're never gonna see this again. Oh, no, I'm going I'm good. Down. I'm running you right now. I'm good right now. He has a pump. Where's the shield? In that little shack. He's outside. I think it's one guy. Yeah, it's one guy. He's, he's hoverboarding. Can you push him? Shoot him? I'm about, to, I'm about to beam him. 30, 60, no shield. If you have impulse, bro, I trust you. Do you want impulse? Oh! Go for it. Oh Did my god! What? All right, lastly, Mitro is no stranger to, you know, just amazing good plays, but his greatest has to be when many of us first got a glimpse of him during the fall skirmish. It was down to a 1v1, and everybody was expecting Mitro to lose the heal off, but by combining his big brain with the newly added shockwave grenade, Mitro pulled off a first place clutch that's gonna go down in history. Player up top knows, Mitro knows. He's running out of ammunition. Mitro versus Aragonist. He's testing, he's testing his might. He's gonna drop down a little bit, get closer. Dude, if he can create a small opening here, he can actually send him. Oh! No way! No way! What? <laughs> oh my! Look at this, Zeke. You wanna see something he impressive? He built the wall above him, built the floor. Oh my god! All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Insta at your motivation guy. That is it for part two. Let us know in the comments if you guys think these pros had better plays and tell us whose best moments you want to see next. Don't forget to like the video if you found this entertaining and sub to the channel. And bunch your crunch, Army. <laughs> Keep eating that bunch your crunch. And let's get this going.